My biggest frustration in my homeschool has always been the ideals haven't quite matched up to the reality. It was like you were running a marathon with no clue where the finish line was. Master the skills, you master the craft. If you do these seven things, it really ups the learning potential. I am giving you simple little tips that will work very well. Three important things that we can keep in mind to help our kids remain Catholic in this seemingly anti-Catholic and post-Christian world. Is that growing what we want to grow? What does it mean to be creative? What does it mean to be artistic? How can we help prepare them to have friendly conversations, intelligent dialogue with people we disagree with? How do you feed the soul of your children? We think it's the perfect system for um, Catholic homeschooling families. Are we enough? Have we done enough? If there are any fears that you have, any uncertainty, any doubt, just set it all aside. Your child is designed for union with a loving God. The best way you can love your kids is to love your spouse. And if they see that, wow. It's about giving me fullness of His love for me so that I can overflow and give it to them. It leads to a peaceful family, a peaceful house. Seek joy and rejoice and savor the moments. It goes super fast.